Once upon a time, a great monk was on a deathbed. He said to his successor, "A hey, young monk, remember one thing: never allow a cat in your life." And he died. A big crowd had gathered to listen to the last statement of this great monk. Everyone was surprised to listen to his last words. The successor was also very surprised. He was thinking, "Why should I allow a cat in my life?" Anyways, they cremated their master with all the rituals. But the successor monk was still thinking about the last statement of his master. There was also an old monk in the monastery. The old monk was with his master for last many years and had seen life of his master very closely. But he could not be chosen successor of his master because he was very old and was about to die any time. Seeing the young monk lost in thoughts, he came to him and asked him the reason of his concern. The young monk told him the reason of his concern. The old monk said, "My dear friend, you don't know. There is a long story behind it." Then he narrated the whole story to the young monk. The story was when their master renounced his wife, children, and his home and went into the jungle. He lived near a small village. He used to go to the village to beg for food. And the villagers were also happy that they had a monk of their own. So they made a small bamboo cottage for him. The monk used to have only two clothes to wear. But a trouble arose when some rats came into the house and they started chewing on the clothes. The monk was in great difficulty. He had only two clothes and soon they would be torn to pieces. So he asked the villagers what to do. The villagers said, "Why don't you keep a cat? It will keep the rats away." It was a perfect solution. So monk agreed and the villagers gave him a cat and the cat kept the rats away from his cottage. But now the problem was that he had to feed the cat. So he had to go to village several times. to beg for some milk for the cat he again asked the villagers for its solution the villager said this is a small village the best thing to do is that you keep a cow we can give you a good cow and in that way you will become very independent you can have enough milk for yourself and for your cat also it looked right to monk so a beautiful cow was brought in now the problem was that the cow needed grass and also someone to look after it so every day the monk had to go to the village to beg for the grass people said this does not look right a great monk asking for grass the monk said but what to do how will i feed my cow and my cat the villager said We have a simple solution. One woman in our village has become a widow. Her husband has died and she has nobody. So if we persuade her, then she will be really happy to serve a monk like you. And then you don't have to come every day to ask for grass. We will also clear some ground by the side of your hut so that she can grow grass. and some other crops there and she will take care of you in sickness or in illness the idea was right monk did not find anything wrong in it the villagers persuaded the woman she was alone and the monk was young so she immediately agreed she started taking care of monk's cottage cow and cat and started growing crops near heart when the monk saw the woman working tirelessly for him he also started helping her in her work they started to grow crops together in the field slowly and slowly the things started to grow and they fell in love with each other 
द वुमेन वॉज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल द मॉन्क वॉज यंग दे वर लिविंग इन वन कॉटेज वट मोर वॉज नीडेड आफ्टर सम टाइम द वुमेन गॉट प्रेगनेंट एंड ए चाइल्ड केम इन देयर लाइफ एंड देन वन डे द मॉन्क थॉट वॉट्स दैट I had left behind my family I have renounced the world and this is the whole world again it grew so slowly that i was not aware until the child came now just because of the cat the whole world came in then the old monk said he told you remember not to keep a cat in your life here the meaning of the cat was that never give your mind so much leverage that slowly and slowly it starts dominating you and you don't even know if we see in our lives then we will find that often we allow our mind to do something which we know is not good we think that we will do it only once and not repeat it but once you give a little leverage to your mind it starts taking more leverage from you and you will not even realize how you will become addicted to some bad habit like that monk who had renounced the world but in order to save his two clothes from rats he kept a cat and then to feed a cat he kept a cow to look after cow he kept a woman and then fell in relationship with her and again became householder similarly we know that taking drugs for intoxication is bad but still some people take drugs just to feel its effect for first time but after that they start doing it again and again and then slowly and slowly they become drug addicted for another instance we know that eating junk food is not good for our health but still we give it a try and then slowly and slowly we start eating it too often therefore never keep a cat of giving leverage to your mind because once you keep this cat then this will take your life to what destruction and you will not even know this